All right, showing a little more video about my layout. I've done some changes here. I've moved my passenger depot down to this end of my layout where it's going to be. Trains will come in here and uh, pick up passengers there on this home layout. Of course, we've got the Northern Power and Light building uh, there from Walters. Um, bringing in some coal for those, those uh, matters there. I'm running some Atherogenesis ACL uh, units here today. I bought these units probably about seven years ago. They're after I put the uh, DH-163 and I've got the flashing light there, the Mars light. Coming across the other way is some uh, Kato or Kato, whatever you, how you pronounce it. Uh, RSC2s. They're so quiet. I love the way they run. I have thought about putting some sound in them. Of course, everything on my layout is DCC. But uh, they're very nice units. Um, kind of my railroad, the whole idea of the railroad is basically, uh, I'm basing it kind of like on this being an Atlantic coastline and uh, seaboard airline interchange point with my layout. And of course, you see my yard. Last time I did this video, my yard was kind of clogged up. Uh, I get crazy running all kinds of trains. But generally, um, uh, what we've got some things sitting here in the yard here. I've got my this is a Broadway Limited ACL steamer uh, sitting here and basically she's kind of fired up waiting to go and uh, above that you hear that ACL I mean now excuse me that uh, Alco noise there that's a custom painted I painted that that's a Seaboard Airline uh, FA1 it's an old Roco unit and basically I painted that uh, years ago and I installed a soundtrack sound system in it, the Alco 251 engine. So uh, that's kind of idling there. And of course, my latest engine down here, which I had, uh, this is a E6 in Atlantic Coastline. I'm a big coastline and, of course, Seaboard Airline from you see from my videos. And uh, this unit has sound in it, has the EMD sound. Of course, I've got another A unit. Actually, I've got an ABBA set of these units that I run. The Bs are dummies, but uh, and this is a train over here that I've got. It's kind of a local passenger train running out of uh, my Pine Creek yard. There's a Florida East Coast. That's a custom Bevel car. Another custom Bevel car in the REA um, configuration. And of course, this is a Walther's car. This is the Railway Express in the ACL purple and silver. This is a interesting car. This is a, a model die casting car. Uh, they're very similar to what ACL's uh, RPO cars look like. So I painted, custom painted and lettered this one uh, and did it and it runs uh, usually running with a number of other purple colored uh, cars. This is just a little local train I did in my yard and of course now this is an ACL uh, this was the paint scheme after 1953 what happened to most there. Uh, this is an Atherin car of course and this car uh, is a fictitiously letter for Horry County, which is where I live here in, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But uh, I did that, and it's uh, an Atherin car. And I've put the uh, masking tape in the windows to simulate the uh, uh, shades there. And of course, this is another car I painted. This is another uh, Atherin car. Uh, Atherin later came out with these cars after I painted them. Uh, but those, uh, that's the uh, round roof. Uh, and these cars came out of Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Uh, as far as that goes, uh, in 1953 they were painted this way. Of course, there's some ACL cabooses. That's an old model die cast, and that's a Bachman that I custom lettered. ACL really never had cabooses like this, but I kind of like them. Um, of course, here's my freight station over here, and got some watermelon cars. Uh, and here's some coal cars that will eventually be going to the. Uh, coal plant over there. Uh, of course y'all seen the other part of my layout. I thought I'd bring it up again. That's my fraternity house. I was a SIGEP in college and I actually did a fraternity house. Uh, and you see it says it's got a toga party coming on. So uh, anyway, um, and there's my Grand Strand Hotel which will be the centerpiece. I'm real proud of this building. I basically was able to save it from the uh, our club did not want to use it anymore and I was able to purchase it but I really love that building when I get my layout totally built. Any event, uh, just thought I'd show you some more of this stuff. 
This is one more car I painted. Uh, this is a model die casting car. I love this car very much. It came out nice, put interior in it, lights. And of course, a baggage car I painted. And that's a little uh, switcher there. That's one of the uh, Heritage Series uh, Proto 2000. Uh, OS. Uh, I need to put some sound in it. I have not done that. Great running little switcher engine. Uh, doesn't pull a whole lot, but great running little uh, engine there. But my layout's kind of like uh, basically termination like Smith Creek Yard was in Wilmington, North Carolina. It's basically an ACL depot, and I have ACL and SL trains running out. So, any event, just thought I'd uh, show you what I was doing in the yard today. I just got home from work, and uh, anyway, enough of this.